All right, so I wasn't gonna do any video on tonight, even though I did find this uh, cool old padlock, W and Co. That one should clean up pretty good. Which is, that's my favorite thing to find is old locks. And, uh, but I'd already popped it out of the hole before I knew what it was. So I didn't take a video, but I'm right here in the spot where I found the horse racing token and the Indian head penny. And this was a pretty decent signal. And I thought, man, you know, that'd be kind of funny if it was a coin on edge sounding like that. And right here, I have something green and it looks big. It's too big to be any coin unless it was like a large cent which I know it's not that so I'm guessing maybe another token or something of that nature so I figured in case it's something stupid crazy cool I'd go ahead and pull this out and start recording just to be safe that's big it's real big Look at that impression. Well, it definitely feels like a token or something. Let me, uh, it's pretty cruddy. Let me, uh, let me get a toothpick out and see if I can get some details off here. I'll pause this and uh, I'll get back with you if I can figure it out. All right, so I worked on it for a minute and it says something, something, looks like H-Y-Y-I-S Motor Club. I'm, I haven't worked on the back too much yet. So it is a token of some sort. I'm not sure exactly what yet. I will uh, try to do some research and and figure it out. And I'll try to do a little wrap up once I've figured out what it is, and I'll let y'all know. Well, it's the next day. I figured I'd go ahead and show how these two cleaned up. The token turned out to be a high-vis motor oils token. It's got a bunch of writing on the back that tells you about which one of their oils to use, depending on, you know, like that one says over 30,000 miles, use high-vis 6. And each one has like a different number of them. What they recommend to use, depending on how much mileage you have. It turns out to be like 1950s. About the same as the horse racing token, which was found in the same spot. And then here's the lock, which is a W and Co. And uh, it, it's pretty rough shape, but it cleaned up fairly good for the shape it was in. It's a beautiful lock. It's uh, it's one I'm going to add to my lock collection. That's probably one of my absolute favorite things to find is a lock. Those are my two favorite ones, of course. And this is the slide off a really fancy one. Would have loved to have seen what that one looked like. Oh, it would have probably been quite a bit bigger. And then, you know, some other. These are all newer. And this nice solid brass SB Co. lock. But that's my about my favorite things to find is locks, but... uh. That's all I've got for now, and I wish you all good luck, and hopefully I can get out some more. It's been tough. All my fields got planted. It's been tough trying to get permissions with all this going on, so hopefully I'll get something soon, and I'll have something else to show y'all. Until then, stay safe.